Freak accidents, bizarre deaths, strange illnesses, and feeling uneasy are just some of the things that can describe a haunted or cursed movie set. We love watching blockbusters, but do we really know the true stories behind some of Hollywood's most successful movies? What if I told you guys that a lot of these movie sets were cursed and some pretty sh things went down while filming. Well, how's it going you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. So just letting you guys know this is a sponsored video by Vikings War of Clans. We've worked with them many times on this channel. We absolutely love them. They have a great free web browser game out right now. You guys can click the links in the description below and check it out. I've been playing the game and I have to say it's pretty damn addicting. Whoa, heroes reached two plus one skills. Plus 30, influence, and 50 gold. Yo, gold is important. <laughs> you guys know I love computer games more than anything else. So you don't even have to download anything. All you have to do is click the link down below. It's a free game. The registration is really easy and pretty quick. The game looks very modern and there's so much you can do in the game. And it's pretty cool that this game is on PC because now you can play it on a big screen on your computer. If you guys join for free right now, you guys will get an additional 200 gold coin items that will help kickstart you in the game. And trust me, it's worth your time checking it out. I highly recommend it. In fact, after I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna go finish training my troops because I really want to unlock the Raider character. It looks sick. Just want to say thank you so much to Vikings War of Clan for sponsoring this video. All right, let's jump into our list. This is the top 10 cursed movies ever made. Let's start off this list in at number 10 with The Conjuring. This horror movie was based on true events that happened when Ed and Lorraine Warren investigated a haunted house. So naturally, it makes sense that a movie surrounded by witches, demons, and ghosts would be haunted in real life. It might even be the only horror movie franchise that was allegedly cursed to the point that it even affected its sequels. So what what really went down. People on set said that they actually feel really jittery and uneasy. They constantly felt like they were being watched by an evil presence and they didn't feel safe at all. I really hope this movie set had good insurance. One of the staff members dog started to behave strangely as well. He would growl at the air when nothing was even there. Well, I mean he's seeing something like a ghost or something. But then once the film was done, the dog would just go back to normal. One actress said that she felt a a strange wind that came from nowhere. Maybe she had one too many tacos at craft services, but all jokes aside, she actually became so ill that she had to go to the hospital and she actually blamed that on the strange wind. Another actress didn't feel comfortable taking her script home with her. She even claimed that there were claw marks on her laptop after coming home from shooting. But the biggest cause for concern was a random fire that broke out on set. Clearly an evil spirit didn't approve of the film. The Crow comes flying onto this list next up at number nine. This is a martial arts movie that starred Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee is my favorite guy of all time. His name might sound familiar because he is the one and only Bruce Lee's son. Well, during the final shot of the movie, Brandon Lee's character was supposed to be shot with a rubber bullet, but there was a metal shard lodged in the chamber and the bullet hit him in the abdomen and it ended up killing him. He was only 28 years old, so some people might say that this was a freak accident, but when you put everything together, things get pretty scary. And the movie we're talking about that he got shot in was The Crow, and apparently the Lee family is cursed. Bruce Lee supposedly had multiple premonitions of his death, and Brandon believed his family was cursed. I mean, do you guys think that that could have been the result of his early death? Was the film or the Lee family cursed? I guess we will never know for certain. We can only speculate. Oh, and also a crew member was actually electrocuted on the first day of shooting and he managed to barely escape death. I mean, what is going on? Also, it doesn't stop there because one of the prop trucks caught on fire and no one knows why. A stuntman almost died when he fell through a rooftop set and while they were filming in North Carolina, they had to deal with a ton of hurricanes and freezing temperatures. It's almost like mother nature was saying, you know, don't film this video. 
The Superman curse flies into number eight. Superman is probably best known for his invincibility, but for the actors who played him during the 70s and 80s, definitely were not. Ruined careers, major health issues, and even death are just some of the things that happen to people who are involved with the Superman franchise. One of the most infamous things that happened was the apparent suicide of George Reeve. He was found dead due to a gunshot wound at his home, but his death was very controversial. It was ruled a suicide but his fingerprints were never found on the gun and he was having an affair with the wife of a high profile MGM executive. So his death stirred up a lot of controversies and that's when the Superman curse came to be known. Christopher Reeve, you guys remember him, well he was also a victim of the curse. He was thrown from a horse in 1995 which caused him to become paralyzed from the neck down and he died at a young age from heart failure. The actress that played Lois Lane suffered from mental illnesses. And the list goes on and on and on. The Wizard of Oz falls onto this list at number 7. Over the years, The Wizard of Oz has become an American classic. I mean, I could watch it every day. It's, it's, it's that good. But of course, it also has its fair share of infamous myths and legends. Like the munchkin that supposedly hung himself on set. Some of those myths were debunked. But there are a lot of other weird things that happened on set that actually makes you believe that the Wizard of Oz could be cursed. The silver makeup on Tin Man left the actor in the hospital due to severe lung complications. A pyrotechnic accident burned the Wicked Witch of the West, which also landed her in the hospital, right next to Tin Man. Several of the flying monkeys fell from their harness and Judy Garland had an extremely troubled life after the movie was released. She struggled with addiction and eventually died of a drug overdose. As she was really young, she was only 47 years old. Oh, and the actor that played the wizard got into a serious car accident that killed his chauffeur and left his wife permanently crippled in her right leg. And let's not forget about Auntie M and Uncle Henry. They both died before the film was set to be released on TV. I mean, if that movie is not cursed, I don't know what cursed is. The Exorcist possesses us in at number six. Did you guys know that there are at least eight deaths that were associated with the filming of The Exorcist? And I'm pretty sure that's the definition of a cursed movie. But those deaths aren't even the strangest things that are connected to the movie. The set for the McNeil home burned down in a studio fire, but Regan's room was supposedly untouched by the fire. Probably the strangest and scariest thing that has happened with the movie was during the premiere. At the Italian premiere, a lighting bolt hit a nearby church and destroyed a 400 year old cross. I mean, that definitely seems like the devil was at play with this one. Maybe they should have gone a real priest to perform an exorcism on set. The Amityville Horror haunts us at number five. Here's another movie that was based on a true story about the Lutz family. And they experienced paranormal activities. And this is after they moved into a haunted house on 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. But it seems like the haunting didn't end with the Lutz family. During shooting the remake, crew members found themselves waking up up at exactly 3.15 in the morning, which was the exact same time the original Amityville killings occurred. Also during the film, the body of a dead fisherman washed up on the shore near the film set, but this wasn't the only dead body associated with making this film. Kathy Lutz, who owned the real Amityville house, died shortly after the film began shooting, and her husband died in 2005 while he was trying to sue for the movie rights. It's kind of strange that the two original Amityville owners died during the film production, isn't it? I mean, what is going on? The Dark Knight Trilogy drives into this list at number four. You'd be surprised about how many tragic accidents that are connected to this franchise. A stuntman working in China on the set of The Dark Knight unfortunately died when the truck he was filming on crashed. The stunt woman for Anne Hathaway, who played Catwoman, crashed into an expensive camera equipment during filming. Back in 2008, Morgan Freeman was badly injured in a car accident, and Heath Ledger, you know the actor that played the Joker? Well, he died suddenly from a drug overdose just months after filming the movie. Is this real life right now? And then years later, on the premiere of The Dark Knight Rises, James Holmes walked into a theater and started shooting at innocent people. 12 lives were taken that night and 38 others were injured. Rosemary's Baby comes crashing in at number three. This movie brought a lot of misfortune and a disturbing amount of horror to those people who worked behind the cameras of this film. The composer died after he accidentally fell and the producer suffered from gallstones as soon as the film wrapped up. This required him to have his gallbladder removed. But the most infamous thing that happened to someone who was connected to this movie has to be what happened to the film's director. 
Spector. His wife Sharon Tate was murdered by the Manson family. She was 8 months pregnant at the time with their first child. Poltergeist curses us on this list and at number 2. This is probably the most beloved horror movies of all time, but it also has an infamous reputation for being cursed. The movie is about a family who is being stalked and terrorized by a group of ghosts, and a demon that has a strange affinity to the youngest daughter. But during this production, a lot of its actors and cast members had their fair share of bad luck, and unfortunate things happened to them. Oh, and some of them have even died. Dominique Dunn, who played the older sister, was the first of the cast to die suddenly. She was choked to death by her ex-boyfriend and it's because of her death that many people believe in this curse. The actress who played Carol Ann died suddenly from an unexpected illness. Another actor was involved in a plane crash and someone else was brutally murdered. Oh, and a child was attacked by a mechanical clown while on set. The clown actually malfunctioned and began to choke him. I don't even know how that is a thing. Well, I'm actually starting to believe in these curses. The Omen breaks onto this list at number one. A lot of people believe that this film could be one of the most most cursed films ever produced. And that's exactly why I will never go watch it. And some people believe that the devil is behind it all. Okay, let's break down all the curses that are linked with the movie. The designer was in a car accident that decapitated his passenger, just like a scene in the movie. The animal trainer was killed by a tiger. Lightning struck the planes that carried the cast and crew on three separate occasions. I mean, how does lightning strike your plane even once? It happened three times. A group of Rottweilers attacked a stuntman. Some of the cast were nearly blown up on two separate occasions that involved the Irish Republican Army. An airplane that the crew hired for aerial shots was rented to someone else and then it crashed, killing several people. And the list goes on and on, so I guess it's safe to say that this film is definitely cursed. And this is a prime example of a bad omen. Alright, well this is the end of the video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys click the link down below and you guys can start playing right away. Well, this is it for me guys I will see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video bye